Please support me by subscribing and liking. Limousine looks. Ferrari performance, that's what 802 electrified horsepower can do. When you think of an 800 horsepower European car with Formula One technology, you probably imagine a hot coupe like the Ferrari 812 Superfast and not a big wafting limousine. Well, stop thinking, because electrification has broken most existing notions of performance, leading even the Mercedes Benz S Class down a path of immense power delivery. That's how we get to a 2023 Mercedes AMG S63e performance with more than 800 horsepower on tap, and it's glorious. The juiciest S Class ever. A twin turbo Mercedes AMG 4.0 liter V8 gas engine is joined by a rear mounted electric permanently synchronous motor, PSM, powered by a 13.1 kilowatt hour, 400 volt battery pack mounted on the rear axle. Together, the gas and electric sources power all four wheels with a 4MATIC Plus all wheel drive system. The gas engine alone is good for 612 horsepower and 664 lbft of torque, and output rises to 802 horsepower overall, matched with the 140 kilowatt e motor. The new limo goes from 0 to 62 miles per hour in around 3.3 seconds with an optional electronically limited top speed of up to 180 miles per hour. Consider the acceleration time conservative, an outgoing Mercedes-AMG S63 we tested in 2018 cracked to 60 miles per hour in only 3.4 seconds, with only 603 horsepower and no electrification on board. On battery and motor power alone, the S63 is capable of traveling up to around 20 miles with the legally required acoustic vehicle alerting noise. The motor unit gets a hollow permanent magnet rotor that's installed around the output shaft of the left rear wheel. Both the high-performance battery pack and motor are mounted on the rear axle with an integrated two-speed e-motor transmission and limited slip differential to form a compact drive unit at the rear to help balance the vehicle's weight distribution. The two-speed transmission is separate from the combustion engine's multi-clutch nine-speed automatic transmission and is shifted automatically with an electric actuator that engages its second gear at speeds above around 85 miles per hour when the e-motor reaches a max speed of 13,500 RPM. A mechanical connection to the front axle means that all four wheels can be powered with the e-motor alone in specific conditions. The motor delivers up to 140 kilowatts of peak power for 10 seconds and otherwise offers around 70 kilowatts of continuous mechanical power. There are seven drive modes, including an individual mode that can be tailored to the driver's interest. The combustion engine is disabled entirely in the comfort slash electric drive mode. The e-motor is configurable with four different energy recuperation levels via a steering wheel button, the lowest of which only applies resistance to keep enough energy for powering onboard systems. A 3.7 kilowatts onboard charger juices up the small battery, and the car can optionally be plugged into externally charged at a pubic charging station, a wall box, or just a standard power outlet. New cooling modules of a millimetric thickness circulate around 14 liters, or 3.7 gallons, of a new high-tech liquid coolant around all 1,200 individual cells of the battery pack. A battery-mounted oil-slash-water heat exchanger transfers unwanted heat into one of two low-temperature circuits within the car, which then transfers that heat to the outside air via a cooler mounted in the front, with the goal of keeping the pack at an average temperature of around 45 degrees Celsius, or around 113 degrees Fahrenheit. A lot of activity! New active engine mounts infinitely adjust stiffness based on driving conditions, controlling the amount of force with which the engine couples to the body. In front, an aluminum stabilizer increases torsional stiffness on the front end improving handling feedback, and a cross brace on the suspension mountings adds addition stiffness. In the rear, lightweight aluminum diagonal struts assist with handling responsiveness in the underbody, and the lightweight fiber-reinforced plastic battery compartment improves body rigidity. This is the first time an S-Class has featured a combination of air suspension, rear axle steering, and active roll stabilization as standard.
The air suspension comes with automatic leveling and adjustable damping, with adjustable air struts that lower the S-Class by 10 mm, 0.4 inch, above 75 miles per hour. The two control valves manage rebound damping and compression damping independently. The two-part 48-volt anti-roll bar system features an electromechanical actuator with a three-stage planetary gear, actively separating its stabilizer halves for improved comfort or joining and twisting the halves together for firmer dynamic driving. The rear axle steering operates up to 2.5 degrees on the rear axle, turning opposite of the front wheels at low speeds and in parallel at higher speeds for improved turning circle and handling. S for style and speed. This is the first time the S-Class has gotten this style of AMG-specific grill with the vertical louvres and large central star. The front apron sports a new jet wing design with large side air inlets and functional air curtains. In profile, there are 21-inch AMG forged wheels matched with AMG-branded runners, and at the rear we see twin trapezoidal fluted tailpipes under a big diffuser board. Inside, four multi-contour AMG upholstered seats come with exclusive colors and Napa leather upholstery, with embossed AMG emblems on the headrests. In front of the driver is a twin-spoke AMG Performance steering wheel with gear shift buttons. System settings and infotainment is mapped across a driver head-up display, driver display screen, and a vertically-oriented center console display, with an AMG-specific track pace screen options that display vehicle stats and temperatures, and system settings for the suspension and transmission. The driver display now gets an updated assistance screen, showing the S-Class centered as well as lane divisions, lane markings, other road users including pedestrians and cyclists, in a live 3D abstracted view that represents the environment around the car at any given time, showing the driver what the assistance systems are aware of. The S63 safety suite has been updated to improve collision avoidance of stationary road users at speeds up to 100 km per hour, 62 miles per hour, up from 60 km per hour, improved lane detection, lane centering, and situation-specific off-lane driving, improved traffic sign awareness to include overhead gantries and roadworks, new red light and stop sign to warn when you're about to run through one, improved lane change assist with a longer phase for lane changes to occur, added seat belt retentioning and brake judder. As driver attention and awareness prompts, now with eyelid tracking, an active ambient interior lightning has been added. Mercedes Drive Pilot SAE Level 3 system is only available in Germany, for the time being, but adds radar, LiDAR, and additional exterior cameras.